so uh regarding uh Breaking Bad episode 404 uh bullet points sorry I didn't get my uh reaction up last night I was uh not at home but I did get to watch it and uh and I wish you could have seen my reaction last night cuz I was going crazy like I was pacing around I didn't have a DVR so I couldn't like rewind and watch the the previews for next week so I sat there for another hour and like watch them as closely as I could. Um, but yeah, I, I thought, I don't know what other people think, but I thought it was the best episode of the season so far. It just, there wasn't a lot of fat to it and there was a lot of awesome moments and, you know, the story now is really taken off. Like very quickly things are getting worse and worse and you're, I mean, we'll talk more about the ending. Um, but you know, like probably the only like boring, like fat stuff I thought was the beginning of the episode where they're they're getting ready to you know tell their story about how they won all this money because Walt has a gambling addiction, and it's just Walt and Skyler they like, setting up their story. It's funny, it dragged a little bit, and then you have the dinner scene, but it did lead to like you know Hank finding out about the notebook. And about, you know, how they're investigating the murder, and they know who Gale is, and, uh, you know, some suspenseful stuff there, but then they got to, like, sit down, and you got to look through the whole notebook. And I loved uh, when Hank was like, WW, what's that? And he's like, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so, maybe Walter White. And Walter's just like, you got me. But, like, I, I I think, like, and then uh, Walter was able to say it was Walt Whitman, which I think it was a reference to Walt Whitman, but uh, I think there, that there's, like, a seed planted in Hank's uh, brain now. You know, the, the seed's been planted. You can, you can think about it again. Like, once he thinks about all the money that they have again uh, and all that, I think that's where that's going. So it set that up, and I really enjoyed the scene where um, Walt is in Saul's office, and Walt gets to vent about everything that's going on. It just is your first peek this season into his like state of mind about everything. You know, I got the car wash to worry about, and you know my partner is he's got homeless people living in his house. He's completely you know. Lost it. And I, my my boss wants to kill me. He's like, when did this? He's like, when did this stop being about business? It was just a great scene that kind of summed up, you know, the last, not just four, but you know, five or six episodes going back to last season. So I liked that. I thought that was really good. And then of course you had like the awesome final ten minutes or so. In the last fifteen minutes. Jesse just don't give a fuck. I love how he comes home one night and dude has stolen his bag full of money, which was apparently like eighty thousand dollars. The drawers just sitting open and he's just like, yeah. And you think he's bringing them this girl upstairs to fuck, but they sit down on the bed and play uh, Sonic and Sega's All Star Racing on 360 or whatever. I was like, that was a nice touch. Like, he just totally just doesn't give a fuck, and he just doesn't want to think about anything. And that leads to, you know, Mike showing up, because Mike's been watching the house, and, you know, expecting a different reaction from Jesse. Jesse's just like, nah, oh, cool, you got my money back, cool. What do you think's going to happen now? Ah, uh, I don't care. What do you think's going to happen to Mr. Piss in the Pants down there? You're going you're gonna to kill him. And he's like, you're not going to kill him, yo. Because you know how I know that? Because he's blindfolded. <laughs> he took the trouble to blindfold him. And, uh, you know, then Mike obviously is like, dude, this guy's a problem. He's completely reckless. Goes to Gus, tells him that I would have loved to see what Gus had to say, but you obviously immediately after that find out what Gus had to say. And a very suspenseful scene where... Walt's at work and Jesse's, you know, not there. He's calling him. He's not answering. You know, Walter sets up the next batch and he goes running over to Jesse's house. 
Jesse's door's locked, still not answering. He crawls to the window, and they're playing, like, this freaky music through it. And then he goes into the bedroom, and, of course, he calls the phone again, and Jesse's phone is there. And then he runs back to work, and he, like, looks up at the camera that's been following him. That was another cool moment, is when Walter notices that the camera's following Jesse the whole time. But anyways, uh... He goes back to work and screams at the camera, Where is he? And that would have been good enough right there. That would have been like a good cliffhanger. You'd been like, oh, fuck. But no, they had one more scene, and it's Mike and Jesse in the car. And, uh, and Mike's like, don't you want to know where we're going? And Jesse's like, nope. Don't give a fuck. And that's the end. Not to summarize the whole thing, but I just thought that it was fucking awesome. The whole, like, last 15 minutes, I was just like, wow. And I was just like, oh, I need to know. I, like, want to fast forward right now to next week. I need to fucking know. I'm dying to know what happens. Like, in the previews, is like, it looks like the next episode is the last 10 minutes of this episode is going to be like, that's how the entire next episode is going to be. It's just, uh, you know, suspense and action and stuff. You see Walter with a gun. He's obviously going to fuck some shit up. You see him go to Los Polos, the chicken man, Gus's restaurant. And he's like, he walks up to whoever's working there. He's like, you know, I need to speak to your boss right now. Tell him it's Walter White. And I don't know what, how that's going to work out. Because you could see in the previews that they're like driving, uh, you know, and you saw it that this episode, Mike's taking him out somewhere to kill him. You see Mike carrying a shovel and stuff too, so he's going to fucking put him in a hole in the desert. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to think. Uh, Walter, how is he going to find out where they are? Gus isn't going to tell him shit. Gus is going to tell him fuck off. You could try calling Mike if he even has Mike's number, and Mike's going to do whatever Gus tells him to do. So how does he figure out where they're going? I mean, he could take a stab and just drive out into the desert, you know, one way or the other, and hope he runs into them. That's a possibility. But I think Jesse's going to realize at the last minute that he wants to live. I think Jesse might have to kill Mike on his own. Because, honestly, I thought I saw a shot. Now, let me know if you saw this, too, in the previews. There's, like, a shot of, like, a fist, and there's, like, keys sticking out of it. I wish I had some keys to demonstrate what he's doing, but like I think he was getting ready. To, like he had the keys sticking out of his fist. I think he's gonna go over and like start punching Mike with the, like that. Now Mike's a stone cold killer, so I don't know how Jesse would fucking one up this motherfucker. You know, and if that's the best weapon he's got, some keys. Who knows? Maybe Jesse tries to. Kill. The thing is, I don't think they could kill Jesse. He's just too much a main part of the show, and it's still too early. Maybe if this is the final season, yeah, you could kill him. But I mean, this isn't the final season. We're not even that far into this season. I'm impressed by how far we've gone. We've gone from Jesse, you know, they, they laid this groundwork over these first three episodes of him just being a total fuck up and totally, like, just not caring about anything anymore. And now in the fourth episode, you got the results of that and then going into the fifth. But I honestly don't think they could kill him. There's going to be a way out of this. I think this is going to be the beginning of the end of G G Gus's reign. I honestly think Mike is dead next week. And it's probably going to be by Jesse, who does it himself. Or somehow Walt comes to the rescue. But I just don't I just don't see how that is. Um, maybe Walt takes Gus at gunpoint and gets him to call Mike. And is like, you know, call it off or Walt's going to shoot me. or I don't know. But I honestly, my bet is on Jesse pulling his head out of his ass, snapping out of it and going, wait, maybe I do want to live. But the state he's in, it's just like, yeah, you don't give a fuck, but then you get to this point where you're about to get killed and I think that might snap your survival instinct awake. So let me th know what you thought of the episode and like what your predictions are for next week. And God, next week can't come soon enough. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday.